<laughs> All right, so we're going to start with jab cuts. We're going to do it barehanded because I just want you to get the feel. Sometimes it, I said we get, we do focus pads, we wear gloves and stuff, and it's nice to feel the, the hands that they're going to be. So when he does his jab, right, and he's coming into touch, I'm going to fade back a little bit and I'm going to catch. So I'm just putting my hand in the way of where he wants to hit. But what I'm not doing is I'm not, bring it back, I'm not trying to jam into his fist because he comes in. I'm not trying to jam into his fist. I'm fading back and just giving him something to hit. Right, because his, his, he's unconsciously he's looking to hit something. Right, so if there's nothing there, he's going to keep going. <laughs> if I don't put my hand up and I fade back, he's going to keep coming. So I put my hand where my head was and just catch it there. And then I'm going to feed back, and then he feed back. And then we move around a little bit, and I'm going to start. So I jab, he jabs, I jab, and then he starts when he's ready. He jabs, jab, 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 jab. All right, so just like that, just about that pace. Don't have to go fast. Just warm up. Okay, so be aiming to touch your partner, but we're not wearing gloves. I don't want anybody to chip a tooth or anything. So be controlled, right? And go to the level where you can control that hit. So if you can go faster, if your partner you are good at it, you can go, go ahead. You can go faster, that's okay. But if you're not that confident, just start off at a point where you know your partner is going to be able to control it. Okay? Okay? Three for three, move around. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're starting whatever lead you want, both in the same lead, and then we will change lead as we go. Go back to whatever lead you prefer. I'll do right because I prefer right. But uh, I, I want you to do single, but I want you to work on just sparing the time a little bit. So Jocko starts, he comes in, he they don't return right away, and I wait, and he comes. Or maybe when I come in and he comes in, maybe I come back right away. All right? So it doesn't have to be an even rhythm now. It's not one, two, three this time. This time it's one, two, three. And then you change around and one, <laughs> two, three, yeah. Like that. So you're going to break the rhythm up a little bit. Okay? All right. Same drill for about 30 seconds. You don't have to wear shoes today if you don't want to, but if you're more comfortable shoes, wear them. So we're going to do the same drill, we're just going to do it with the focus pads just to start, so in the right lead. But now, the person with the focus pads is always going to initiate for this drill, right? Before we went back and took turns initiating, whoever has the focus pads is going to initiate. So we're going to, now instead of catching the focus pad, I'm going to parry it to the side a little bit. Okay, so it's slightly different. So this is to cop, is to catch. Paisa is to parry. Right, so he comes in, I parry, I return the jab, and then I parry once more. And then he always starts. So it's one, two, three. That's it. One, two, three. Okay. Now the feet are, keep the uh, pad that you're feeding close to your face. Because I mean, the difference with the pads is always that we lose our, our range and, and our targeting is off, but we get to hit a little bit harder. We're not worried about hitting our partner so much. Don't put it in front of your face. But the tendency to put it out here, avoid that. Have it close to your face. All right. So once again, all it is is catch. Jab, catch, or parry, and then again, catch, jab, catch. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna switch your leads in a minute. All right, you're working. Will I come into a three as well? Work on shifting. Let me come to a bigger one. Let me come to a bigger one. Work shifting back and then do a bigger one. Trying to do the half beat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Before you switch, you're going to do a 10 and 10. I will come into a 10 and 10. So Phil's going to hold the pads up here. I'm going to do my inward hammer fist, my outward hammer fist to cross. So it's going to be one, two, 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 one, so I jab, I catch, I jab. And when I'm feeding, I'm aiming for him, right? So the tendency to do this kind of thing, to aim out wide and hold the pad way out here, right? which is really not teaching him how to defend themselves against an incoming strike. So I'm trying to touch him. And I'm going to go again. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, bah. Right? And then when you're done, about a minute and a half, the switch leads, you do the same thing in the right lead. But I'm always starting with the guy with the focus pads is always starting for the drill. 
So Phil shifts out, shifts in, shifts out. Yeah. We're working on this ability to move in and out. Right? And so it also applies to Sadat. This is kind of tricky. But definitely from your understanding of Sadat is that the control of inches of distance, right? The ability to a conservation of movement that if I know all I have to do is shift this far not to get hit, then why do I have to do any more work than that? Okay? All right, let's go. <laughs> All of a sudden, your arms are three inches shorter, Phil. I don't know. Yeah. So, we're going to put an extension on the drill. I'm going to give you uh, three options for the extension. All right? So, the first option that I want you to do he jabs, I jab. This is where it ended before. But now I'm going to come back with jab, cross, hook, cross, and we're going to throw a little round kick and then a stopping kick to the thigh. Okay, so you just put them on the leg. So a little round kick would be a groin kick, and this is just to make some space. Right? Could also be uh, this kick is delivered in the Filipino arts, it's delivered right to the knee and then right down, slamming into the foot. Right? But for training, I just kind of have a weak pocket. Overly repetitive drops down onto that foot. <laughs> Um, Gurubaliki, you mentioned sometimes that when he's in the clinch, that sometimes he just like does that right there, right? When everybody's up here trying to wrestle and trying to pummel for shot, just hitting that stomp and can sometimes break their concentration to get in for shot. All right, so that again, option one, bomb, 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 jab, cross, hook, cross, low kick, stomp. You can just do that one. Option two is I'm going to go right from the cross, right into the cross instead of the jab. So I'm catching. I'm jabbing, I'm catching, we go right to the cross. I'm going to come in with an uppercut on a 45, right into a hook, cross, kick, kick. Okay? So, option two again, catch, catch, cross, body hook, body hook, cross, now take, come back if you want to. And then the last one is a little more pantry because I'm going to shift back, I'm sorry, I'm going to catch, I'm going to jab, I'm going to sit back and, and hook into his bicep, then follow with the cross, hook, cross, low kick, stop. Okay, so three options. The last one again, catch, jab, shift back, and I just knuckle him like I'm knocking on a door right into his bicep here. Next right? pop, Matt just opens the line. Wait, can I see the second one? Sure. So the second one, where you skip right into the cross. And since I've closed the distance so much on the cross, I'm just going to come right into the body, boom, and then right into the hook. Okay? And we're using Nicholas's style, right? We're going right from the uppercut right into the hook. We're not doing the retraction. Like, I usually do the retraction. When you come back, Nicholas, really likes when you come boom. So I might as well steal it for some panatuki. <laughs> okay, we're going to try. Right. You can just do one. You can do two. You can do three. Tell them. Tell them. Just Yeah, I like uh, the slot because I find this hard on the uh, the rest if you don't have the right angle. Before you switch, you're going to do a 10 10. It's going to be this little extended. You're going to go inward, outward, and then you're going to go cross, foot, cross. That's the last time I just went to cross, then we're going to cross, foot, cross. So it's. Bom, 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 bom. And these are like burnouts. So you should be going hard and fast. Then we'll decide to, and then you can have this quick break. Right? So he catches. He jabs, he catches, he jab cross, hook, cross, low round kick, stop kick. That's option one. Option two is he goes right to the cross. He crosses, he's going to come over the shovel hook, high hook, cross, hook, cross, low kick, stop kick. And these are just ideas, they could change them. Right? The last one is where he's going to fade away and he's going to door knock rid of Bomb, cross, hook, cross, low kick, stop kick. It's okay to do this too for these. You can go here, here. If you're not feeling, if you don't feel comfortable taking the shot on your leg, you put the pad down. Okay? You give that a go, side two. Still We're all still in the same. It's okay if you want to just stick with what we're doing or try one of the other ones that I showed earlier. Okay, so we're going to do some of the, a few more of the destructions on the arm. 
So the first one we'll do is the one we just did before. When he jabs, I jab. First one we're going to do is the door knock, go straight to the door knocker and follow the cross, hook, cross. We'll change the kick up this time. I'm going to go low to mid. Okay? Same way. So that's the first one again. Catch, jab, door knocker, cross, hook, cross, low kick, bounce up, and good kick. Okay? Whether we want to kick with your foot or your shin, it doesn't matter now because this is. And two people looking at they have kicks that are similar to tie boxing. They also have the foot kicks. We should also remember that when they kick with the foot, they tend to have a blade somewhere. Uh, this is a toe ring that has a hook knife on it. And so when they're kicking into this side, that's actually a little blade cut in here. So the roosters in. Yeah. So they, well, they, because they do, uh, they do the uh, crescent kick on the low line. Right? And he's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> but it's because they have a hook blade on the side. This little toe has a hook blade sticking out. So when they come here, they just they're just ripping open the inside of the thigh. So it's always interesting to see where things come culturally and understand why they do what they do. All right, so the second one is where I'm going to actually use my other hand to guide into that. All right. So last time I went door knocker into the cross. This time I'm going to parry and go into a backhand, then to the cross, hook, cross, and the double kick. Ball, ball. Okay, so that's number two. Number three. Is going to be split entry, then into the door, into the uh, gut. So that's the three we're going to work. Okay, a little bit of arm manipulation. So one is just the shift back that we already did once before. Number two is where I parry and gut into a hammer fist. Number three, I'm going to split entry before I do it here. And I'm going to cut some hammer fist. Okay, can you give those a try. Is it just one of them? So you take Vicka through it. So you come work in a three. And then third one is full. Yeah. Get that seven. What is it? Oh, I know I'm doing it. Oh, 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 oh. When we do pen and when we do these all the time, so you'll get used to them. You're 10 and 10. Inward, outward. Inward, outward. Cross, hook, cross. I'm going to reach up to the shoulder and pull to the rear knee. So inward, outward, cross. Hook, <laughs> cross, uh, reach with my rear hand, and pull up, okay? Don't reach with both hands. There's a tendency to want to do this. If you pull both, all he has to do is pull my hands down. One of the, yeah. So reach with one. That way, if he pulls it down, at least I still can defend myself, okay? So inward, outward, cross, hook, cross, reach, knee. Okay, and then switch into 10 in the other knee. All right? Uh, I'm with Brian here. So he jabs, I jab, I door knock out on this jab. So like I said, there's a shift of range here when this is coming. I'm moving back and I'm coming in here. And it really doesn't matter where I hit along this arm. I can hit into the deltoid if I have much longer arms. That's what this is just as painful, right? Or I can hit into the bicep, or if I can get into that area where the, the funny bone is right under there, that's a good shot. If I get to the forearm, that's a good shot. If I knuckle into his knuckles, if I have better knuckles, I win. <laughs> so. Also, it's expectation. If I know it's coming, I can knuckle that in. All right, so first one, bomb, bomb, door knocker, cross, hook, cross, low kick, mid kick. Second one is the same, but now I'm not going to shift back. I'm bearing in. So I'm dominating the space. This is where I feel that I can crash, right? There are people you're going to fight that you don't want to crash on. But there's people, when he does that first jab, I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 I can crash on this guy. That's okay. Cross, hook, cross, low kick, bomb. And the next one is maybe I want to crash, but I still feel he's pretty tough. So I split entry. So this is destructive to his energy. And now I can crash and follow with my cross, hook, cross, hook, hook. Right? So just ideas to play with. None of them are right or wrong. None of them are, it's just to have more stuff in your toolbox, more ideas. My preference generally is to lean out and door knocker. I like that one because I gives me, I feel safe. Right? But I used to like this one, but I used to feel better with that one. I've never loved the split entry into it though, but I, I like the idea behind it, but it just doesn't feel right to me. But I, I like the idea of disrupting with that shot. Okay. 
right? So the objects are there for you to get exposure and figure out what you like best. I'm playing with it. All right, let's here we go. I hope you caught that spray of sweat on video. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> if you say that, it's normal. If I say punish me, it sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, so. There we go. Same idea, we're going to start with this jab triplet. Palm, palm. But on this third one, I'm going to cut in. Alright, so last time, the last few times we've been carrying with this hand on the third one. Right, but this time on the third one, I'm going to lean out and cut in. And then right from there, it's a hammer fist to the, oh, 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 hammer fist to the black side. So the idea is that, you see, okay, I cut in, boom, boom, okay? Then you're going to throw a hook and a crop. But we should be aware that this is actually meant to be, when I go here and I hit here, and his arm retracts a little bit from his hit. Okay? So then I follow with the hook right into that same spot. All right, so the hook, we're hitting the pad, but it's really just following in the arm. If the arm has gone too far, then yes, I'll, I'll take the face. I'll be a little gentler on that. So this one's it. So I cut in and I hammer this there. I follow with the hook, right? Cross, we're gonna go low kick and we'll change a range and I'm gonna give you a side kick off. Okay. Being a little bit savat style here, we'll go with that low kick here. Let's shift my range out. I'll bring this way again. Okay. That's number one. Number two starts the same way. I'm going to panastas, I'm going to hammer fist, I'm going to reach out, I'm going to grab this pad, and I'm going to elbow into this pad. Right? And immediately I'm going to hook, cross, low kick, step out. Okay. Let's put pads like this. Oh, okay. So I think this is right. And then number three, kind of combine it a little bit. I'm going to hook, I'm going to do this shot into the bicep. I'm going to elbow and then I'm going to back this hook, cross, kick, side kick. Right? So, again, number one, bomb, bomb, I penestas, I hit right there. Hook, cross, low kick, side kick. Number two, I penestas and hit and I reach down with elbow. Right? And I'm going to hook, cross, kick. And that reaches for his head, obviously. And the last one, I pass that, I hit, I elbow, I back fist, hook, cross, kick. You give those a try? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to show it. If you do this one, that last one, right? When he comes here, I uh, pass that, and I hook. I'm just going to reach for his head. The idea is that I elbow the head, and I back fist the head, and then I fall the back. Just so you have the idea that that's where it's the target is. Oh, 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 oh. It, it falls really nicely. On a focus yes. pad, it feels a little weird, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> if you think about this headshot, bomb, bomb, bomb. That's smooth. Right? Uh, yeah. One more inch. Get one more inch. Alright, you're 10 and 10. Oh. Inward, outward. <laughs> Inward, outward. Cross, hook, cross. Reach with the rear hand to pull to the knee. The lead hand cuts across and shove them back. Rear leg right kick. Right, so again. Inward, outward. Cross, hook, cross. Reach for the knee with the rear hand. The lead hand shoves across his chest and knocks him back. Side two options again with Brian. <laughs> We're using the penestas, which is the spear hand. So bomb, bomb, I'm spear handing in. And I was saying to Brian, don't try so much to slide along the arm. Raise your elbow and hit it. As opposed to trying to slide and hit it. I kind of, I, 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 I'm losing contact here to get that shot. Right? And then immediately the hook comes up. The hook is really right into that bicep. So for training, we're hitting here. Cross, low kick, find your range. Okay. Second idea. Anastas, I hit it. Now I'm just going to reach out for the head to get an elbow in. Right? And I'm going to hook, cross, and then do the 
low kick. Step out of the last one, demonstrating the pads first, but uh, I reach, I'm going to demonstrate the pads first. Elbow, back fist, hook, cross, kick, find my distance, side kick. So to do that one again, but I'm going to use his head this time. Because he doesn't use it. <laughs> I reach, I elbow, I hammer fist, I hook. And I follow the back So just to see, because it feels weird, it looks weird on the pads, bomb, bomb. When you see that I'm holding his head, pump, 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 that makes sense. So I follow the cross, kick, 